Hi, Mikey. It's such nice weather today, isn't it? Yes, very nice weather. Just the right weather to go for a walk. And look what I noticed. You see those pits in the distance? I think those are the pits of those monsters above the pit. I think we should go in there. Wow, I see it too. What's it doing here is very interesting. And if we go in, what tunnel are we going in? Yes, very strange pits. And the location of them is very disconcerting too. Let's take an interest and see what's there. I think we should just start at the first pit, so let's go. Yeah, you jump first. I'll jump later. Let's go. So let's call him Mikey. And I came here myself. I heard what you said, so it's okay. I'm here. I'm wearing my very good armor, so let's go. We don't need him in the village. We have to get rid of him, so let's go on the attack. Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination. But we all knew what had to be done. We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find. Pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much, but it was all we had. And yay! We did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely. So I think we're good. Yahoo! Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%. So good for us. Here we are back from the first tunnel. I think it was okay. The important thing is that we overcame it. Yes, you're right. Let's jump to the second hole among these. It'll be nice. Yes, I agree. So I'm ready. We can jump first. Then I'll go as usual. So let's call him Mikey. And I came here myself. I heard what you said. So it's okay. I'm here. I'm wearing my very good armor. So let's go. We don't need him in the village. We have to get rid of him. So let's go on the attack. Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination but we all knew what had to be done. We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find. Pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much, but it was all we had. And yay, we did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely, so I think we're good. Yahoo! Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%. So good for us. Here we are back from the first tunnel. I think it was okay. The important thing is that we overcame it. Let's go in order, as always. If we jumped on the left pit last time, now we jump a little to the right. Yes, I agree, so I'm ready. We can jump first, then I'll go as usual. Wait, Mikey, keep an eye on him for now so he doesn't run away. Yes, I heard you, JJ, I'll be on the lookout. Take these weapons. Now we go out onto the balcony and destroy it. Now I will take revenge on this monster and show him what it means to steal me, JJ. He has now grown twice as big. Are we finished? Hey, he's gotten so big, we'll now need to use twice as much power, Mikey. Be charged. Yes, I'm already at full power. We must destroy him so that he no longer interferes with our and other cities. Yes, you're right, Mikey. Here you go. Now he will know what it is like to hunt people, by the way. It seems to me that we almost exterminated him. The last bullet's left and he is defeated. All right, Mikey, listen up. We've reached the heart of the beast's territory. From here on out, every move counts. Stay right beside me, and for the love of all that's good, keep those footsteps silent. We're like shadows in the night, slipping through undetected. One wrong sound, and- Hooray, JJ, we did it with you. Now we are heroes of the city and the whole country. Yes, let's take a closer look at what he looks like. Yes, I'm proud of us. Here we are back from the first tunnel. I think it was okay. The important thing is that we overcame it. Let's go in order, as always. If we jumped on the left pit last time, now we jump a little to the right. Yes, I agree, so I'm ready. We can jump first, then I'll go as usual. Yes, I heard you, JJ. I'll be on the lookout. 
Take these weapons. Now we go out onto the balcony and destroy it. Now I will take revenge on this monster and show him what it means to steal me, JJ. He has now grown twice as big. Are we finished? Hey, he's gotten so big, we'll now need to use twice as much power, Mikey. Be charged. Yes, I'm already at full power. We must destroy him so that he no longer interferes with our and other cities. Yes, you're right, Mikey. Here you go. Now he will know what it is like to hunt people, by the way. It seems to me that we almost exterminated him. The last bullet's left and he is defeated. All right, Mikey, listen up. We've reached the heart of the beast's territory. From here on out, every move counts. Stay right beside me, and for the love of all that's good, keep those footsteps silent. We're like shadows in the night, slipping through undetected. One wrong sound, and- Hooray, JJ, we did it with you. Now we are heroes of the city and the whole country. Yes, let's take a closer look at what he looks like. Yes, I'm proud of us. Here we are back from the first tunnel. I think it was okay. The important thing is that we overcame it. Let's go in order, as always. If we jumped on the left pit last time, now we jump a little to the right. Yes, I agree, so I'm ready. We can jump first, then I'll go as usual. Now comes the thrilling climax of our adventure, facing off against the enigmatic creature that has eluded capture for so long. With our wits sharpened and our determination unwavering, we'll navigate the final showdown with finesse and courage. Every step brings us closer to claiming our well-deserved $250,000 reward, a prize that will undoubtedly change our lives forever. But it's not just about the money. Absolutely, Mikey. This is the moment we've been waiting for, to confront the unknown head-on and emerge victorious. With every challenge we faced, and every clue we followed, we've honed our skills and strengthened our resolve. Now, as we stand on the brink of capturing the elusive creature, we're not just chasing a reward. Knowing that success is within our grasp, together we'll claim our $250,000 prize and etch our names in the annals of adventure. Yay! We defeated the creature! Now we have a bounty! I'm so excited! Are you excited, Mikey? Yeah! I'm excited too! So let's call the police right away. But before we do that, as a tradition, we have to throw away all our stuff like defeating this thing. Ha ha! Yeah, you're right. We'll do the same thing. So friends, we defeated it. Congratulations in the comments. Guys, I'm here. You've done a great and difficult job. Thank you very much for that. For not giving up and fighting to the end. You deserve the order of heroes of the country. So you're good and a $250,000 reward for you. And I'm off to put this creature in jail. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Policeman. Put him in jail for all his bad deeds. Yay, we did good, didn't we, Mikey? Yes, very well done. What do you think, Mikey? Are we heroes now? Yes, absolutely! We saved the whole country, Nubik, and we almost took the $250,000 reward! As the dust settles and the excitement of the chase subsides, it's time to reflect on the remarkable feat we've accomplished, JJ. Our relentless pursuit of the elusive creature wasn't just about the reward. It was about demonstrating our commitment to justice and community safety. Through perseverance, teamwork, and quick thinking, we navigated every twist and turn of the hunt with unwavering determination. Let this victory serve as a testament to our courage, resilience, and unwavering determination. And may it inspire others to follow in our footsteps and make their own mark on the world. Yes, and I think it's time to say goodbye to the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Like it. Subscribe. Bye. Bye. Oh no! What kind of creature is Mikey? Why is it chasing us? Oh no! Let's get in the house fast! I don't know why it's chasing us. I'd like to find out. What are we gonna do, JJ? I don't know. Let's go to the second floor of the house. I think we'll be safer there. We'll get our bearings. So hurry up. We're on the second floor. Let's go to our room. We'll think about it. I think it'll be easier to hide there. The creature only has two legs. It'll have a hard time moving up the stairs. Yes, then we'll just wait for it quietly. Oh no, I think I hear him. Oh no, he's here. Goodbye, Mikey. That's it. We're screwed. <laughs> oh, ha ha. You know, I've never really thought about it like that before. But now that you mention it, there's something kind of epic about the idea, isn't there? I mean, sure, it's not your typical fairy tale castle, but there's a certain rugged charm to the notion of carving out our own little kingdom beneath the earth. And hey, if it means we can provide safety and security for ourselves and others in the midst of all this chaos, 
then count me in. Plus, who wouldn't want to be the king of their own underground domain, right? Haha. -ha. Let's do this. Absolutely. Building a kingdom underground sounds like an adventure of epic proportions. Just imagine the possibilities. Fortified walls, secret passages, and a community thriving in the depths. It's a chance to create something truly unique and resilient. A haven that can withstand whatever challenges come our way. Plus, the idea of being rulers of our own subterranean realm has a certain appeal, don't you think? Let's embrace the challenge and make our bunker kingdom a reality. Haha. <laughs> Yes, very well said. In the meantime, we've already spruced up half the kingdom. And now we're building land around the building so we can hatch some plants, ha ha! And now, as we set our sights on expanding the land around the building to create space for our garden, we're venturing into an exciting new phase of our journey. The thought of cultivating a thriving oasis beneath the Earth's surface fills me with anticipation and excitement. It's not just about planting seeds, it's about nurturing a sense of renewal and resilience in our underground refuge. Yeah, I'd like that too, but not in a bunker. And don't forget, we're doing this against zombies. And I think we can fit some people in here, right, JJ? While the idea of creating a sanctuary in a bunker is intriguing, I agree that it might not be the most ideal setting. And you're right, amidst the ongoing zombie threat, safety is paramount. However, if we can fortify our underground refuge effectively, we might indeed be able to accommodate some additional survivors. It's all about finding the right balance between security and sustainability. Let's keep brainstorming and strategizing to ensure that we can offer refuge to as many people as possible while keeping everyone safe from the undead menace. Sure, I think it'll hold the entire town, haha. <laughs> In the meantime, Let's keep building our kingdom from the zombies. Our underground fortress has the potential to become a haven for the entire town. With our ongoing efforts to fortify and expand, we're not only creating a safe refuge from the zombies, but also laying- And by the way, as we speak, we are completely finished with our construction. Ha ha! It went so smooth and cool! I'm so happy about it! Yay? Yeah, I'm filling up the trunk with shells now, so we can start something else. Whew. It's our time, Mikey. I think we should turn on the radio before we go outside. Whether there's a zombie wave or not. Yeah, come on, turn it up fast. Ladies and gentlemen, it's national radio. We've got like a fifth zombie wave in town, so brace yourselves and stay home. No, the fifth wave of zombies is outside, so let's take everything we have in the chest, all the armor gear, etc., and go out and fight those zombie bastards. Because we have to save the city. Who else but us, huh? Mikey? Yeah, I totally agree with you. Come on, dump me all the armor and gear you got and let's get out there fast. Because right now, those zombies could swarm the whole town. All right, let's go outside quick. I'm all set. So let's go outside and see what's going on. If Momo's even here. Oh, uh oh, I think I have some bad news. A big Momo has come to our village. That means he's five times stronger than the last one. So let's call him Mikey. And I came here myself. I heard what you said, so it's okay. I'm here. I'm wearing my very good armor, so let's go. We don't need him in the village. We have to get rid of him, so let's go on the attack. Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination. But we all knew what had to be done. We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much, but it was all we had. And yay, we did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely, so I think we're good. Yahoo! Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%. So good for us. We got one danger out of town. And look at the sky, too. It's cleaner now that we got rid of that monster. Now I think all the townsfolk and villagers are happy with us because we took away their fears for their family and kids, etc.
power and take out all the weapons that we have. Be ready, Mikey. Wait, Mikey, keep an eye on him for now so he doesn't run away. Yes, I heard you, JJ. I'll be on the lookout. Take these weapons. Now we go out onto the balcony and destroy it. Now I will take revenge on this monster and show him what it means to steal me, JJ. He has now grown twice as big. Are we finished? Hey, he's gotten so big, we'll now need to use twice as much power, Mikey. Be charged. Yes, I'm already at full power. We must destroy him so that he no longer interferes with our and other cities. Yes, you're right, Mikey. Here you go. Now he will know what it is like to hunt people, by the way. It seems to me that we almost exterminated him. The last bullet's left and he is defeated. All right, Mikey, listen up. We've reached the heart of the beast's territory. From here on out, every move counts. Stay right beside me, and for the love of all that's good, keep those footsteps silent. We're like shadows in the night, slipping through undetected. One wrong sound, Hooray, JJ! We did it with you! Now we are heroes of the city and the whole country! Yes, let's take a closer look at what he looks like! Yes, I'm proud of us! Now it seems to us that all we have to do is report this to the police and everything will be fine! Absolutely, Mikey! We showed that monster who's boss! The city owes us big time! Next? Well, the possibilities are endless! So you guys are great! You did all the work that the police should do! We are proud of you! Now you are standing in the alley of our city, and we will take this monster to another prison, so you won't have to be afraid anymore. Yes, we are very pleased. Good luck and goodbye, policemen. Yeah, JJ, we did it! We're the heroes of the city now! What are we gonna do? Now, Mikey, we are in complete peace and can move on with our lives. Let's celebrate this and eat a birthday cake in the evening, okay? Maybe we'll take a victory lap around town, basking in the glory of our triumph. Or perhaps we'll treat ourselves to a well-deserved feast at the Yes, then it seems it's time to say goodbye. Subscribe to the channel, like and write a comment. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Hi, Mikey. It's such nice weather today, isn't it? Yes, very nice weather. Just the right weather to go for a walk. And look what I noticed. You see those pits in the distance? I think those are the pits of those monsters above the pit. I think we should go in there. Wow, I see it too. What's it doing here is very interesting. And if we go in, what tunnel are we going in? Yes, very strange pits. And the location of them is very disconcerting, too. Let's take an interest and see what's there. I think we should just start at the first pit, so let's go. Yeah, you jump first. I'll jump later. Let's go. So let's call him Mikey. And I came here myself. I heard what you said, so it's okay. I'm here. I'm wearing my very good armor, so let's go. We don't need him in the village. We have to get rid of him, so let's go on the attack. Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination. But we all knew what had to be done. We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find. Pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much, but it was all we had. And yay! We did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely. So I think we're good. Yahoo! Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%. So good for us. Here we are back from the first tunnel. I think it was okay. The important thing is that we overcame it. Yes, you're right. Let's jump to the second hole among these. It'll be nice. Yes, I agree. So I'm ready. We can jump first. Then I'll go as usual. So let's call him Mikey. And I came here myself. I heard what you said. So it's okay. I'm here. I'm wearing my very good armor. So let's go. We don't need him in the village. We have to get rid of him. So let's go on the attack. Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination. But we all knew what had to be done. 
We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find. Pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much, but it was all we had. And yay! We did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely, so I think we're good. Yahoo! Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%. So good for us. Here we are back from the first tunnel. I think it was okay. The important thing is that we overcame it. Let's go in order, as always. If we jumped on the left pit last time, now we jump a little to the right. Yes, I agree, so I'm ready. We can jump first, then I'll go as usual. So let's call him Mikey. And I came here myself. I heard what you said, so it's okay. I'm here. I'm wearing my very good armor, so let's go. We don't need him in the village. We have to get rid of him, so let's go on the attack. Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination. But we all knew what had to be done. We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find. Pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much, but it was all we had. And yay, we did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely, so I think we're good. Yahoo! Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%, so good for us. Here we are back from the first tunnel. I think it was okay. The important thing is that we overcame it. Let's go in order, as always. If we jumped on the left pit last time, now we jump a little to the right. Yes, I agree, so I'm ready. We can jump first, then I'll go as usual. Yes, I agree, so let's get started. So let's call him Mikey. And I came here myself. I heard what you said, so it's okay. I'm here, I'm wearing my very good armor, so let's go. We don't need him in the village. We have to get rid of him, so let's go on the attack. Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination but we all knew what had to be done. We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find. Pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much, but it was all we had. And yay, we did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely, so I think we're good. Yahoo! Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%. So good for us. Here we are back from the first tunnel. I think it was okay. The important thing is that we overcame it. Let's go in order, as always. If we jumped on the left pit last time, now we jump a little to the right. Yes, I agree, so I'm ready. We can jump first, then I'll go as usual. So let's call him Mikey. And I came here myself. I heard what you said, so it's okay. I'm here. I'm wearing my very good armor, so let's go. We don't need him in the village. We have to get rid of him. So let's go on the attack. Fear gripped my heart as I listened to the terrified whispers echoing through our village. Momo, they called it. A monstrous creature that haunted our every step, casting a shadow of dread over our once peaceful home. I couldn't stand idly by any longer. With every fiber of my being, I knew I had to do something. Gathering my courage, I rallied my fellow villagers in the town square. Their faces mirrored my own mixture of fear and determination. But we all knew what had to be done. We couldn't let this fear consume us. We had to stand up to be the heroes our village needed. With trembling hands, we armed ourselves with whatever we could find. Pitchforks, torches, even a few rusty swords. It wasn't much, but it was all we had. And yay, we did it, JJ! With the help of our team spirit and teamwork, we got the job done safely, so I think we're good. Yahoo! 
Yeah, you're right. I think we did 100%. So good for us. We got one danger out of town. And look at the sky, too. It's cleaner now that we got rid of that monster. Now I think all the townsfolk and villagers are happy with us because we took away their fears for their family and kids, etc. So, Mikey, we're definitely... It's such nice weather today, isn't it, Mikey? Yes, it's very nice weather. So nice that we went out. And wait, did you notice that? Those are some tunnels. There are purple tunnels and different colors. Hmm. I wonder what they're for. I think they're there for a reason, and they're in the way. I think we need to jump down one of these portals because there's a portal in the hole below. Whoa, what if there's a danger to us down there? What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Maybe we have to go through this. And there's a reward at the end? Why not check it out? It's new colors and emotions and new challenges in life. Wow, that's a very good idea. Let's give it a try. Why not? Which tunnel do we go to first, then? I say we go to the first tunnel. It's the catnap tunnel. I think it makes more sense. So let's go. Let's go, but wait, let me jump first, then- They have come, too. Mikey, it's time to act. First of all, let's lure them so that they will run towards us in a crowd. Don't panic, the main thing is Mikey. We will defeat them anyway. There are so many of them. It's not for nothing that they showed on the news that they would come in a crowd like brutes. Yes, I agree, Mikey, you are right. I don't think we can handle them like that. Let's take the weapons that we have in the tower and trace them from the tower. I run as fast as I can. They're almost behind me. Ah! Let me believe in you, Mikey. Most importantly, don't forget to do your feet. I'm already here, and I've already grabbed a few weapons. Well, all the unknown creatures wait for us. We will definitely save this city. The main thing is to believe in yourself, Mikey. I'm already here, and I'm already with you too. Let's shoot. Ah! Let's go down and liquidate them here from below so that they definitely get a very good deal from us. Will you come to our city? We definitely won't make you sick. Get it? Yes, you're right. But we don't want any crime in our city. So on, get it. Oh my god. There are a lot of them. But I'm sure that with 100% probability, we will eliminate them all and restore peace in this city. Right, Mikey? Yes, I agree. But let's now go back to this tower and take the remaining weapons and finally defeat the rest of the monsters. We're out of that tunnel of peace. That was so hard. Did you see how many of those creatures were in there? Yeah, I agree with you. Those creatures just don't end. So we had to get out of there. And let's go to the next tunnel. I think the second tunnel we should take is the King Kong Tunnel. Are you ready? Let's go. Lead the way to the second floor and let's grab those weapons. With a whole warehouse at our disposal, we'll be armed to the teeth and ready for whatever challenges come our way. Lead the charge, Mikey. With a whole warehouse of options, we'll be armed and ready for whatever comes our way. Let's do this. This ends now, you monster. You won't lay another finger on our loved ones. We're not afraid of you. We'll fight until our last breath to protect what's ours. We can't afford to let our guard down, JJ. This battle isn't over yet. Keep pushing forward. Keep swinging. Keep fighting with everything you've got. Our families are counting on us, and we won't let them down. Remember all we've been through, every challenge we've overcome together. This is just another obstacle in our path, and together, we'll conquer it. Right behind you, Mikey. We've come too far to give up now. Yay, we defeated that stupid monster. Now I think we're the heroes of the country. Right, JJ? Yeah, that's right. Whew, we've now gone out and defeated that King Kong. It was so hard to be honest, but we did it. And I'm very happy about it. Me too. King Kong is not a weak character. Now we have to choose which tunnel to take next. I think we can go in order. Yes, it's a very good idea. If you're ready, you go in first. I'll go in it's after you. JJ, now comes the thrilling climax of our adventure. Facing off against the enigmatic creature that has eluded capture for so long. With our wits sharpened and our determination unwavering, we'll navigate the final showdown with finesse and courage. Every step brings us closer to claiming our well-deserved $250,000 reward, a prize that will undoubtedly change our lives forever. But it's not just about the money. Absolutely, Mikey. This is the moment we've been waiting for, to confront the unknown head-on and emerge victorious. With every challenge we faced, and every clue we followed, we've honed our skills and strengthened our resolve. Now, as we stand on the brink of capturing the elusive creature, we're not just chasing a reward. Knowing that success is within our grasp, together we'll claim our $250,000 prize and etch our names in the annals of adventure. Yay! 
We defeated the creature! Now we have a bounty! I'm so excited! Are you excited, Mikey? Yeah! I'm excited too! We've defeated